Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at Swiss Bob the Bobsled Coaster, created by Theme Design. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, this was sent in by one of our Discord expert builders, Theme Design, and here he says, Hi guys, since the game came out, always wanted a bobsled coaster to be present. Had to wait a time, but here it is. A nice alpine theme mountain. Good for any park. I kept everything very realistic, also with the queue and so on. Entire coaster was block sectioned and is time to have always one coaster in the station for maximizing capacity. Enjoy this chilly alpine themed bobsled. See ya. Theme design. All right. So this would be now the s only the second themed bobsled coaster that I have featured on the channel and the other one was just last week so getting uh getting close to that winter season getting the chilly outside so it's time to start featuring some bobsleds and it's good to see some coming up in my inbox so be sure to submit more of these you guys because uh so far th they look like well, the first one was awesome and this one's looking to be pretty darn wicked as well so what do you guys say we get right on into things all right ladies and gentlemen here we are at the swiss bob bobsled <laughs> <laughs> so let's go down the queue and talk about this for a sec the queue was a little bit strange to me I would have had some sort of pathing guide because I didn't know if there were supposed to be railings or if the people were supposed to be up here but then they'd be hitting their heads so and then it didn't work here it, it completely read it out on me uh, so then I had to do this and you guys saw it in the setup it, it was just janky Maybe it was supposed to be level, but then there would be no railings. And then people would fall off the sides. I didn't I didn't quite know what was going on there. So nothing ever really lined up. And then it also went from 4 meter back to 3 meter, which confused me. So I think your queue work could use a little bit of help, or at least a better guide, because I completely botched it for sure. Anyways, that's a look at the queue. This looks phenomenal. The rock work is great. Nice mixture between boulders, snowy boulders, and ice boulders. Um, waterfalls, trees, alpine trees at the top. Maybe a couple more of those would have been nice scattered about. But uh, yeah, we just got the two there. It's kind of funny. But it looks really good. It's a good composition. Love the icy bits melting off the side there. Um, another thing is, I got to flip it to nighttime because I can't help but notice these vintage lights... And I'm excited to see this. Look at that. Gives you that Christmassy vibe, that good old feel. We got a nice mix between blue, purple. We got some pink in there. I mean, it is a rainbow effect. It almost has this pearlescent feel to it, doesn't it? I like it. Okay, I'm liking the pearlescent feel, but you have this one pink light that's throwing me off. It's nowhere else other than there. I probably would have just done that to purple. Uh, yeah, that's just one pink light. Throwing me off a little bit, but it's subtle lighting. It's not too hot. It's not too bright. It's just right. And maybe these lanterns are kind of throwing me off too. The, the, the Chinese lanterns really don't fit here for, for me. Just my opinion. I would have used three more of those. Just three oddball Chinese lanterns there. Really doesn't make a lot of sense. But... It looks great, nonetheless. I'm just trying to point things out here. Looks great at daytime. Beautiful stuff. All right, so I've only ridden one bobsled ever, so I'm excited for this. Let's uh, let's take a look at the coaster stats here. There they are. It's hard to get your test ratings to green on these ones. They are, I guess, considered mild rides. Uh, this one goes up to 40 miles per hour, but they're still a ton of fun. So, let's get on this. No music. No music. Well, I'm going with the Barbershop Quartet because this puts me in a feel-good mood, and this is a feel-good mood coaster. Let's do it. Ba 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 
To switch the song so we don't kill this the the, the magic of the song um, we want something festive don't we festive 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 where are you festive spooky here we go oh this this the lighting and the music just fits perfectly this is making me feel good, you guys. Well, maybe I'll try... Yes, I'll try a cinematic. I cannot not try a cinematic. So we'll do that after.
na na. All right, let's do it. Cinematic. Here we go. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Now, in terms of the actual blueprint, I mean, the, the, the coaster track, it is all over the place. It's crazy. You definitely got some distance out of that. I mean, my recording says 20 minutes. Uh, it's probably shorter for you guys with all the intro and all that stuff. But uh, definitely three runs is quite a long time. What was the duration on this guy? 170 seconds. So almost three minutes. Uh, quite a long uh bobsled now i don't know how to give feedback on the bobsled quite yet i'll be figuring it out as we get more of these but i thought it was fun um i, I thought it was adventurous and yeah i mean it went it went around the terrain it felt like an exploration all in a 4k blueprint so i think you nailed it uh over time i'll kind of come to understand and come to learn what it is i like about the bobsled but so far, I think two for two, we've seen incredible bobsleds. I think both designs from the two of them. Who was the last one? Schmitty the Pirate did the last one. I think you both came forward with a very strong design. So there's nothing that's standing out to me as bad here. And maybe in the future, I'll start to use your guys's as kind of the comparison. So uh, I'll know it when I see it sort of thing. But I think this was a fun design overall. If you guys know more about bobsled coasters, feel free to leave your comments down below. What would you improve about it? What did you like about it? And all sorts of stuff like that. I gotta say, I love the lighting. I would have changed a couple things with the lighting, but you got this kind of... what Was the pearlescent lighting, did it change on us? I feel like the lights had changed. It was purple and... It's like more green and teal now. Hmm. Maybe, maybe you have the lights alternating? I don't know. It feels different now, but it, it has some pretty cool lighting. I love uh, the feel of it. It feels very Christmassy to me. 
It's a little bit hot in some areas. I, I think the yellow lights go really well with the purple. They're complementary. I like this this gradient that you got going on. I just think it needs a little more refining, but I, I still love it. It's 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 really like a nine out of ten for me. I would just tune it a little bit. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. So and then daytime, it's it's a beautiful blueprint. I think you, the fact that you fit this all into 4K is it exactly 4K? You get 600 parts remaining. I'm surprised. Wow. It, it's stunning. It's very big and ambitious. It's, it's great. Really good job here today by Theme Design. Lovely, lovely creation. Boom. There you guys go. That's going to do it for this episode of Coaster Spotlight. If you enjoyed, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more daily Planet Coaster videos. And if you enjoy the channel and all the content here, please do consider becoming a patron. Your support allows me to continue making these videos for this wonderful community. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.